Nice shot. Bam, you almost caught that bad boy. Yeah, what up y'all and welcome back to another one. Today, we're doing a little dairy farm hunt. Oh yeah. Y'all liked the last one so much, me and Jordan were like, dude, we gotta get out here again. Last summer is when Jordan and I really hit the dairy farm and did a lot of pest control there. A lot of y'all watched them, but there's a lot of y'all that are really new to the channel and probably haven't seen all those dairy farm hunting videos from last summer. Oh. But if you are new to the dairy farm, if you haven't seen these videos before, check this out. I have something to show you real quick before we get hunting here. Now today we are doing the 10 shot challenge. I have no idea how it's gonna go, but hopefully it goes decent. Wow, look at this. So this is what I came to show you. I didn't know this was here though. Whoa, look at all the new chocolate they got. Look at that. That is one giant piece of chocolate y'all just a oh my goodness i've never seen never seen that before so these are leftovers or the bad deal see the wrappers from russell stover check that out and this white stuff that isn't mold that's all sugar but this is one ooh. oh my that is caramel oh my goodness Oh my goodness, that's good. Oh, uh, I don't know if Jordan's seen that yet. We're still waiting on Jordan to get here, but that is all chocolate. Caramel, chocolate, peanut butter, sugar. They use it as an additive, a sugar additive, in the dairy cow's feed. Yeah, over there, you see the dairy cows? There's one barn, two, and three. There's basically three barns full of dairy cows milking cattle and the issue is the starlings primarily the star starlings yeah they're everywhere too i pulled up and i started seeing them flying everywhere so uh the last time we did the dairy hunt it was a morning hunt i believe by the looks of it evening is going to be way better but back to the feed the starlings get in the cattle's feed and they poop in it and they pick out all the sugar additive it's nasty they just poop in it constantly they're in it constantly trying to find that stuff that's where Jordan and I come in. We come in, we push them out, we shoot them, we bump them out of here, we drive them out for the time being, and the farmer really, really appreciates it when we do that. So that's just a rundown of the farm. Uh, I'll give you a little tour as we go, but Jordan should be here anytime. But before we get into today's 10 shot challenge here on the farm, I gotta give a huge shout out to DucksWaterfowl.com for sponsoring this here video. If it wasn't for ducks, I wouldn't be able to keep bringing you guys videos just like this one. YouTube has really, really, really been cracking down on the channel. Long story short, y'all know I've been complaining about it. YouTube has really been cracking down on the channel. They've been demonetizing a bunch of stuff lately. So whenever you guys purchase something from ducks, it does go directly to me and helping me bring you more of these videos when YouTube's really making it hard on me. So thank y'all, I greatly appreciate it. Like I said, hats, hoodies, sweats, anything, I will link down in the description below. Thank y'all. Oh, well, the bearded man himself is here. I have arrived. You have arrived. Late, but I'm here. He already knew about the big slab of chocolate. I, I mean, caramel. It's caramel. I think it's got some peanuts and stuff mixed in it too. Dude, I don't know, all I tasted was caramel. Yeah, it's a lot of caramel. Crazy. Though. What are you rocking here today? What's going on here? Uh, this is my old used and abused uh, Benelli SBE2. SB2. Super Black Two. Eagle. Yep, when, what's on the end of it there? That there is the Carlson Long Range Cremator. Oh boy. I like it. Today, I'm running these bad boys right here. 12 gauge, two and three quarter, or one ounce, eight shot. Yep, that's right. You're running Federal too, huh? Oh yeah. Oh, no. Mine's ounce and eight though, so oh. I'm, uh, I got a little bit of an advantage there. Right. 10 shot challenge today on the dairy farm. Mm -hmm. What's your guess? How many uh, do you think we're a piece gonna shoot? If they stick around and behave right, we're gonna be a little out of practice. We're gonna shoot three a piece. Ooh. It's gonna be rough. I was thinking two a piece, so we'll see. Well, we're out here, time to do a little bit of cowboying. It's been a while and I'm looking forward to it. It's a little windy. Yep. 
It'll win. Not bad. Not bad. No. Six, seven, eight miles an hour. Six. Yeah, it might be eight, ten mile an hour. Eight, ten mile an hour gust. Yeah. Uh, it's sitting at 40 degrees. It's a little cold in just a hoodie, but I'm not doing too bad. But we're going to uh, start up here on the hill uh, where the cattle, man, they are feeding heavy right now. Is he getting ready to feed? Yep. I think so. He sure is, didn't he? Well, a lot of you know what these are. These are the uh, these are the poop ponds. Straight poop cattle poop ponds. That's the reason why Fred can't come here. Last <laughs> time he came here, he about jumped in. If he would, he could get really, really sick. So just, just to let you know, so you ain't going, Bob, where's Fred? First five comments. Bob, where's Fred? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if you didn't know, Jordan, He's got himself a YouTube channel. He does a lot of pheasant farm stuff, backyard farming, homesteading, pigeon loft, coyote trapping. Yeah. It's been going good. It's been going very well. I'm, I'm very happy. You guys need to go down the description, click on the Jordan's channel link and go subscribe. Seriously, go check it out if you haven't. So like I was saying earlier with the chocolate, there's chocolate particles in there. And these girls, yeah, it's their food. The starlings get in there, they poop in it. We're here to get rid of them darn starlings. So I'm gonna put y'all on my head and we're gonna get down. Hopefully, hopefully we get if down. It, if everything goes according to plan. <laughs> according to plan. Oh, here we go, we got two flying. Okay, okay, okay. Here's a big group, dude. There's some sparrows. We got some starlings. We've seen a couple pigeons. Y'all know that's been here before. Right over there, there's a big old tractor shed. Bad boy usually has a couple pigeons in it. Yeah, we're gonna save that till last. Oh come on, let us let us shoot at something. Come on now. Big swing, big miss. Had to get the first shot off. Well, one down, nine to go. Ooh, yeah, here's some pitch. Come on now. There's some starlings. There's a starling. Anything? <laughs> well, Jordan shot once, I've shot once. Ooh, here's a pigeon. Come on now. I'm in one shot. Jordan's in one shot. Nothing dead yet. <laughs> uh, I, I tried a starling, I'm pretty sure. Did you try a starling? Pigeon. Pi oh, you tried a pigeon. All right there. Now we got them up and flying, I think. Now they don't know what's going on. Now they're like, oh, God! Come closer, I'll get at you. Two. <laughs> no way, that was awesome. That was awesome. Nice shot! Bam! You almost caught that bad boy! I don't know why I didn't. Why didn't I go charge <laughs> There's sparrows. Well, we blasted into that flock of sparrows. We downed two, didn't we? Uh, no, I just watched the one. <laughs> that was awesome. That's what he, Dude, you about caught it. If I would have been paying attention, I could have just walked up and grabbed it. I don't know why I didn't. I know. I, I was like, uh, I reacted real slow too. I'm like, oh. Uh, hey, dude, look, he's coming in. Watch oh. it fall. <laughs> well, we pretty much wrecked the south side of the farm. Now it's time to go to the north and see what we can do. We downed two sparrows there. Uh, one landed on the roof and the other one, don't know. We tried finding it, can't find it. So, two sparrows down. Uh, I've shot twice. I shot three times. You shot three times. Shot three times. Jordan's definitely beating me though. The uh, that shot on that pigeon was pretty epic. Pretty nice. Oh god, what's that? It looks like a filling of some sort. Yeah. Butterscotch? I don't know. Oh wow, it is butterscotch or something. That's wild. It's all kinds of treats just waiting around the corner for you to stumble across. I've done dumber things. I've done smarter things. <laughs> Jordan just jumped from here all the way over there. If I would have done that, I think I would have been what Flair calls milk toast, whatever that means. All right, boys, we good. One thing about the farm, you're always climbing, man. Every time we come here, we're always climbing around. Yep, see another electric fence here. Use the butt of your gun. 
Make sure it don't come up and slap you. We're good. Yeah, it's a it's not a very fun surprise when it gives you the old hee hoo. Oh yeah. Well, here we are. This is the shed I'm talking about. Seems to always be something up in here. Last time we did this, I smoked a pigeon. <laughs> you made a pigeon into a pillow. Yeah, it was did. a bad deal. Let's see. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. My hands are real cold, so this may not be a good deal. Oh, right here. Oh, I don't want to shoot that low. I didn't want to shoot that low. I was too busy looking for a rock to throw on top of the building and make something come out. Oh, I didn't. It was too low. I would have. Last time I shot, it was above the wire. Yeah. Don't want to shoot a cow. No, I don't want to shoot a cow. That would not be the definition of a pest hunt. That would be, yeah. That wouldn't be a pest hunt. That'd be a cow hunt, and that wouldn't be no good. Yeah, we don't have tags. Darn it. That's a, see, see how fast I made that decision, guys? Right there, just think. Think, think, think. Uh, try to think before your trigger finger gets ahead of yourself. I'm glad I didn't pull the trigger because look, look right here. Look, behind this panel and this fence, oh, there's a cow. That could or maybe couldn't have been a bad deal. Who knows? Never know what you'll see on the farm. Got the kitties eating fungians. That's definitely fungians. <laughs> the starlings, man. We uh we went all the way around. This is where Jordan just shot the pigeon, and uh, yeah, they uh, shoot once, and these starlings are gone. That's the first thing uh, Jordan said earlier. He was like, "I'm afraid the first time we shoot, you know, the couple times that we shoot, that they're all just gonna vomit us, and that's what's happening." Which is good. That's the goal. You know what I mean? The goal is to help out the farmer, help out the cows, keep them out of the feed. So that's the goal ultimately. You're not gonna shoot them all. The idea is to drive them out and shoot what you can. It's just not as much fun when they leave. Right. I mean, I want to shoot more. <laughs> right here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a big fly line. Wow. Big swing, big miss. That was a long shooter there. That, that was a long shooter. <laughs> You're going for the sky busters. I will too. Well, we're just out here spraying and praying now. <laughs> I don't know how many shells I got left. I got one, two, three, four, five shells left, I believe five shells and I know I've shot one sparrow but that is it couldn't recover him though he was on the roof but if you guys like these farm hunts where we're getting out here on the dairy and shooting and just cowboying you know drop a thumbs up for us first of all let's get this video over 3,000 likes please please if you have never hit the thumbs up it's easy just just hit it no one will even know you did I will I'll know and I'll appreciate you and if you have any ideas for hunts that you want me and Jordan to try out, drop a comment down below. Let us know. We, we listen to your ideas. We want to hear them. It gives us ideas, better ideas for videos for y'all. Check this out. The farmer's coming through. He's feeding the cattle. Uh, this is why we're here is to help the farmer, help the cattle. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat little process they have out here with the chocolate and everything. Look at them, got them a fresh pile of food ready to go. Really awesome little process they got going on here. A lot of starlings coming back right here. Oh, he's going down. Boom, in the water, yeah! a high shot starling down for Bob I hope I got that on the shot cam that was awesome that was a high shot now that right there y'all y'all ask Bob how do I get better at my shooting Bob I need to I need to better my shot 
Last summer, Jordan and I came here literally three times a week. You can imagine shooting these small birds at distances like that, you get good quick. So get out there, practice. I don't care if it's just shooting clay pigeons, clay rock, whatever you want to call it. Get out there and practice. Well, there's my starling all the way out there. He's in the poop pond. There's no retrieving that guy. Comes another flock. Nothing. Woo, they were high. Those were hard to hit. There goes two more shots. Boy, howdy, I'm almost out. Well, I've just been out here spraying and praying. I got like two shells left. That's it. But I did down a starling. Uh, that was a hard shot. They just come in waves. Like a group of ten will come, then you'll wait two or three minutes and another group of five will come, but they're all so high. I'm telling you, they're hard shots. Woo! Yeah, it's cold, man. It's, it's just getting colder and colder and colder and colder and colder, literally. Yeah, 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 yeah. I bet it's in the 30s now and that wind is picking up. It's not going down, okay? Well, what do you got there? Good old black check pigeon. Black check pigeon. Or blue check. The whatever. only thing recovered today. Yeah. How many did you shoot? Uh, the one sparrow, because I figured we both got one of that yeah, first block. Yeah, we both got one of that. And then, uh, that guy yeah. there. Yeah, it was pretty one bad sparrow. Shooting. I got one sparrow, one starling. Uh, at the end of it all, I'd say Jordan won it because he's got the pigeon. And I shot landed. the biggest, easiest thing. And not only that, it landed at our feet. This is true. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Like, I mean, real, like five foot away. That was real cool. Like we should have caught it. I should have. If I would have been thinking at all, I would have. But I was just like, hey, he's dead. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. I know my reaction. I was like, what? Oh, we should have caught it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Picking your nose. <laughs> oh, look at them headphones. Yep, got the uh, daughter's headphones on. And I'm sitting here. Going down the highway, my beautiful wife's driving me, and I'm editing for y'all. Just got this video all edited up. Uh, we went to Oklahoma for my daughter's cheer competition, and she did great. Poor girl is sick now, sicker than a dog. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the farm vlog. Uh, I always enjoy getting out on the farm with Jordan. The dairy farm always produces. There's always a bunch of starlings, some pigeons, and always the occasional sparrow. But if you guys have any ideas that you guys want us to do, Jordan and I on farm hunts, we got a lot of other farms that we can attack and we can hunt, guys. So just put out your ideas for farm hunts. Jordan and I will go do them. But be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell down there because it will notify you when your boy uploads. But I really do appreciate you guys being here. The wife, she appreciates y'all being here as well. Do you talk? Do you speak? No, not today. Not today? I always, I whip the camera at her and every time she goes, <laughs> she just smiles and she don't talk. You need to start talking to these people out here. What do you want me to say? They want you to talk. Hi. Because they want to hear your lovely voice. I said hi, hello. Oh, oh okay, doing? okay. Well, that's all we're going to get out of her today. But until next time. Hey. Cause I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL, got a girl that